that's the stuff that I found just looking at the at the old hotel and it's well you know it's got a checkered past I'm like well what's the checkered past it's like well this was notorious you know it was almost like uh inviting single women to stay here because it was so safe and then you either never heard from these people again or bad things happened to them it would be it would, it, I, I don't know that we'll ever really know what happened there but it would be very interesting to one day find out i see these little white critters like about three foot tall run from the barn up to the street lamp but yes i have seen them uh, i have seen them having sex with humans um, very bizarre creatures, scaly, slimy. Grant essentially argued that the Adina had used uh, Kentucky to pierce the veal of the, uh, the abyss, essentially, and had created a window area there into the abyss. It doesn't have to be in a lineage at all. It's just a consequence of channeling information from entities outside of your normal reality and it will always generate cults it will there will always be cults because they they are just a consequence of reality it is n-dimensional uh, creatures entities that are communicating and they've been communicating with humanity the entire experience of humanity like you know the uh, the prophet that would hear the voice of god he had an experience like this, you know, John of Patmos uh, seeing the, 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 the apocalypse and writing the apocalypse, he was having an experience like this. The thing is, is that this isn't just San Bernardino and it's not just Somerset and it's not just the town that I grew up in and it's not just Santa Barbara, California, what I lived in for a dozen years and has its weirdness. It's everywhere.